Right, I'm in. I got. I walked along the field a bit. Got through a big gap in the fence. There is a way through the wood up there, which takes you onto the north side of the wood, <laughs> which I have done. But there's also a path running through the middle. But I don't know whether it would be really mucky. So I'm carrying on this path, which is the first path I did when I first explored these woods. So, and gorgeous views as, as well. Now, I, I'd love to go in there really because when I was walking up to the tower, there were lots of little follies everywhere. And I'd love to really do it, really. Um, but and it's a good time to do it in the winter when there's no leaves. So in, a bit later I might see another path and I might just t nip up and have a look. So it wouldn't be me if I didn't. Right, so what's happening in the world? Yeah, the whole world's in lockdown. See, there's a way up through there, look. Um, President Trump was quite equal with Joe Biden in the presidential elections. They're still recounting some of the votes. Um, President Trump believes there's been a lot of fraud going on and added votes. He's not convinced it's legitimate the, that Joe Biden has beaten him. So he's not conceded gracefully or nothing because he's got he's taken out high court procedures for an investigation into several things. So that's the state of America. Of course, it's all chaos in America because it's very, it's not really, it's 50-50. Half a Democrat and half a, it's so close, you know, and both of them have broken records as to how many votes there have been for candidates in the presidential elections ever. Um, you're going up into the 70 million each bracket and above. Um, and above, above that. So here we've got the, the wood area, which sometimes is open to the public with guided tours, by the way. Now, this, this is new. This shed might have been here, but it looks like it's had a... It might be new. I can't remember seeing it looking so prominent. Um... So we can, I could have got over, if I couldn't have got through the gap there, I could have walked along and got over this fence. I don't know what these blue things are, whether they're bee things or, I haven't found out what these blue things are. I'm not sure, but there's loads of them around. I don't know what they are, there might be some sort of, I don't know, it's weird isn't it? Weird things in the countryside. If you look here, there is a way up. I think this takes you up to the tower. But it's padlocked. So it's saying to us, sorry, but you can't come in. Okay, so but I do know that would lead me to the tower area. Um, but there's things going on which weren't there before. I can see things hanging in the trees. It's all very spooky, actually, because um, I watched this horror film the other night where people went in a wood, and then see all that hanging in there? It's spooky, isn't it? There's some sort of cages up there I spotted and I videoed. So something, something goes on in there, up there. But there's a way straight up, and I reckon that takes you to the tower, but they don't want us to go up there. I'm not going to risk it either. Thought I heard somebody chopping a minute ago. You don't want to go where it's warning you not to go. If it's giving you a chance, then you don't 
you do not enter because it could be dodgy. Heard a pheasant then. But yeah, I can see a cage from here. I don't know what they keep in there. But um, it's deep in the heart of that wood. Something going on. There's a pheasant in front of me. Just crossing. He's gone. But it is a lovely walk, this one. It really is lovely. Another way in there, look. I can, I can, I can sort of slightly hear movement. So I, I ain't going to risk it. You don't know what beast is in there either, do you? But look, there's a way in, look. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but I'm not doing it today. I'm not in the mood. I would go either from the top more in. There's another way in. Up. It's not saying you can't come in here. See? There's another way up and I reckon that would take you to the tower as well. But I'm quite enjoying walking here at the moment. But I know that these entrances do exist. I'm quite, like I said, I'm quite happy having this peaceful stroll in the beautiful Somerset countryside breathing in lovely air because at the moment the flat and the building where I live is going to be full of toxic dust noise, hammering, drilling um, so basically I've decided to come out today because the weather is a window of good weather today one advantage is that having this lovely viewfinder and um, it does give you a chance to see way ahead Yeah, you can't really see the tower, I've noticed, from this side either. Might be able to, it should be round about here now, up there. You can see it from the other side of the wood, but I reckon it's close. I reckon it's close. Keep thinking that as a person, but it's not as a pole. <sighs> yeah, so it's, we're having a good walk. I, I needed to do something different than just doing my wood and sand bay. Um, I just needed to come out right out and we've got the polluting motorway down there you can't get away from it really anyway they do reckon because climate change is happening and it's happening fast now there'll be the turn of the point of no return they say when the ice starts really melting which it is in Greenland you won't be able to stop it it would be like a domino effect so they're now saying that all cars in 10 years time there'll be no petrol no diesel it's got to stop because the um they they do start they're starting to believe the scientists when they say all these emissions are warming the planet enough to melt the ice well that's what we're all been told to believe we don't know whether the planet has its own cycle of events that it does now and again god is that look at that lovely sun everyone God, do you know what, I put a winter coat on I'll only do it for a bit God, this is gorgeous, isn't it? Totally gorgeous I got across another bridge There's one there which I would like to have done Taking me to Christon Village But I'll have to do the one further up Because I can't find I can't really see where the track would be for, To get me over onto that bridge 
not quite sure how I'd get to it. But well, not to worry. It only take me onto a road anyway. So here's the lovely wood on a lovely autumn day. We haven't had weather like this for a couple of weeks and then it only lasted say one or two days. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's what I've come out for. And I've got <laughs> I've got a w winter fleece on. I've got my I've put my big wax jacket on today because they said it's going to temperature's going to have suddenly drop and it's going to be like arctic conditions. I think that's later in the day, but I couldn't risk it because I'll tell you why. When I went out to Cheddar the other week, Okay, it was warm, but it started getting nippy in the afternoon, did. But what was worse, I had to wait 40 minutes. The bus was late. On the, the bus was freezing because they have to have the windows open and they don't put the heating on. So I'd waited 40 minutes and it was cold at the bus stop. And then I was on the bus for 40 minutes. So I, I was freezing. I don't think it's done me any good. But I don't intend to get the bus back. I'm strolling like this all the way back to Weston. And I don't mind doing it. But I need to be prepared for when the sun starts to go down. Because... Wow, look at this, everyone. Secret tunnel. I don't know if I spotted this before. It could have been overgrown. Secret tunnel, look. But does a beast live in here? Don't know, see. There's probably loads of these caves. This is like one of the caves. Uh, there are caves literally under this hill. I don't know if it goes around the corner further up, but I'm not going in there. Though it's quite light. I've never seen this before. Good place to shelter. Mum started bucketing down now though, isn't it? Wow. It's big enough for me to go and walk in. Go on, just do it. Have an adventure, girl. Don't, don't knock yourself out. I don't expect it goes very far. We'll go in, we'll be brave. This is where mammoths, saber toothed tigers. It gets a bit darker up here. And then it probably disappears down the hole there, look. No sign of drop ins or anything. There's the way out. I had that on Zoom. I'm going to have to walk back. I had that on Zoom, everyone. I'm going to have to walk back and do that again. Right, so I came here. Imagine being a cave person. I got I could do it again because that was on Zoom. So we go down. This has been carved out. Or it's a natural formation. Brave coming. It's very dry. Very dry. I said there could be a way down beyond that stone there. And it looks very dark that way. Right. So I walk up again. And what I'm going to do is walk up here and then take some photos. I'm going to walk back down just with the camera. Then I'm going to use the flash to see. Over and out, everyone, for a minute. <laughs> 